This is Charles Campbell with PlayHoops.com. I am with Coach Cedric Jackson of the Gators Elite yes, out of sir. Dallas, Texas. Coach, talk about your team a little bit, um, being from the DFW area and now playing in the uh, Primetime National Championship. Uh, just, a, just a good group of young men that's been hooping together for about a year and a half. Uh, most of them go to the same high school, you know, all of them around the Dallas area. And uh, they have such a good relationship off the court that plays onto the court and we've competed in the top tournaments, competed against a lot of top teams this entire summer and their work and their grind has really paid off. So we're looking to end our summer primetime nationals as champions. I mean, that's our ultimate goal. I mean, one of the things, I mean, I've seen you guys, I've watched several of your players at the high school level. One of the words that I can really describe your team as is scrappy. I mean, you guys are just, you get after people, you defend, you're vocal, you know, you play fast, you play hard. What is in your coaching philosophy? What are you What are you teaching these guys about the game of basketball? Uh, we have a motto called Dog Team. Uh, Dog, D-A-W-G, stands for Defense Always Win Games. So uh, I just instill that in them. Uh, practices, we start out doing defensive drills. It's like we don't touch a ball until we go over defense and we run. Uh, and that kind of gets them in the groove of in the game, just being everywhere. I tell them, you know, the most aggressive team will win. So I feel like if we set that bar first and set the standard of being the most aggressive team, we usually come out on top. So that's kind of the motto and the, and the, the, the style of play that we go by. You were just sharing with me off, off camera about last week you guys played in Las Vegas live out there in Vegas. You know, tell us about, you know, uh, the results for your team. Uh, we lost in the semifinals game against Las Vegas uh, top prospects. Uh, we played against a lot of talent down there. We had a chance to go against uh, D-Wade Elite. Uh, great game. Uh, we, we beat them. We went 4-1. and one. Uh, Like I say, we lost the game to get to the championship. We competed hard. Just came up short off of our own mistakes, you know, mental mistakes, which we continue to learn from in which I think, you know, throughout the season and throughout, a, throughout Vegas, uh, we'll learn from that and we'll bring that into prime time and we'll try to correct those mistakes that come out on top. Is this you guys' first time playing in the primetime national championship? Yes, it is. So, uh, I mean, you obviously said you expect, you know, a championship, but from your experience today at the, here at the Big Star Expo, you know, what do you, what do you get the feel and sense of as far as from an event perspective? Uh, I see a lot of potential uh, when it comes to competition. I see a lot of teams walking around together. I mean, that's one thing I like seeing is our youth bonded. No matter what team they play with, no matter what organization they're with, I like to see our youth bond. So uh, I see a lot of that. Uh, this is our first time. My guys had a great time here at the Expo, just going to different tables. And it's all about the experience for these guys, you know. Get them that exposure, get them that experience for them to actually know that, you know, their hard work and everything that they do is paying off. And, you know, I would hope that they see more things like this throughout life, college, and hopefully even when they, some of them in the NBA draft. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I'm an evaluator. I, I, I watch a lot of basketball, evaluate talent. Give me a couple of guys I need to watch this week. Uh, we have uh, Carlos Johnson is one, uh, number zero. Uh, he's inside, outside player. Uh, Malik Martin, number six. He's that can play any position. You know, uh, we have Monte and Jalen, number one and two. We call them the twins. They are most scrappy. They are smaller players on the team, but they have the biggest heart. They, we feed off their energy. Uh, Tony Burning, great point guard. Probably has like a 10 to one assist to turnover ratio. Uh, Z Mumford, he provides us with energy on both ends of the floor. And I just feel like they all feed off of each other. Uh, we have one guy. Uh, we call Bray Bray Brendelin. He's from Irving. Uh, out of nowhere, shout out to about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, so he's giving us a lot of athleticism, you know, around the basket. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it sounds like a great team. You seem like you got a real handle on not just basketball, but life and really instilling that to the next generation of young men, man. You know, my hat goes off to you and that. And, you know, we wish you guys the best of luck this week, and we'll definitely be watching you at the tournament. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing you. Thanks for your time, All coach. right, no problem. This is Charles Campbell with PlayHoops.com.